Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Matthew. In this video, we are going to learn type 3 in solving real integrals with complex contour integrals. By the way, some people call these complex integration as line integrals. Even though you are using a circle or a contour or a closed curve, some people like to call it line integral. So don't get confused if they ask you convert this into a line integral and hence solve it. Okay, so the type that we are going to learn here is 0 to 2 pi function of sin theta cos theta. And we will have two videos in this, but by this video itself, you will get the concept. Okay, so let us start with one problem. So please write the first question. Evaluate the integral 0 to 2 pi. So this is the first condition limit should be 0 to 2 pi and sometimes they will give you 0 to pi and all you have to do is check whether f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x condition is balanced or not because they will always make sure this condition is balanced so that you can write this is half of 0 to 2 pi so make sure it is half of integral 0 to 2 pi okay now the question is 1 divided by 5 plus 4 sin theta. In some problems, sin and cos will be there. Some sin will be there. And this is an integral that you learn in your plus 2 itself. But now, we are going to convert this real integral into a line integral. By the way, to be honest, we should call it contour integration. Okay, the method is easy. In every problem, we have a few steps that you have to follow. So, the substitution you have to remember, z equal to e power i theta. I hope you still remember, e power i theta is the collection of all the points in the unit circle. Now, you have to do a few things with this. And also remember, e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay, the first thing you have to do is, we have to find d theta. So, I am going to differentiate or to be 100% precise, taking differential e power i theta multiplied by i d theta. That is d is equal to, read this from right to left. e power i theta is z, so this will be z i d theta and from here we get d theta equal to 1 by i z d z. So, let us put a box. So, we found the replacement, the substitute for d theta. Now, the limit. Come on. In a circle, the limits, all the points will be generated when you put different, different values from 0 to 2 pi. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to write z equal to e power i theta. Therefore, mod z equal to 1 because modulus of cos theta plus i sin theta will be root under cos square theta plus sin square theta. That will be 1. And I am going to write, let C be the closed condo mod Z equal to 1. So, I am going to put the next one. So, 0 to 2 pi will be replaced by integral over C, where C is the unit circle. I have seen many students getting confused in the exam because they will be wondering how many singularities are inside the condo because suddenly they, they don't write this step. And they will be wondering, what are the singularities where I have to calculate the residues? So, you have to find the residues which is inside the unit circle. Make it very, very clear. Now, the next thing, we have to find a replacement for sin and cos. In this problem, we have only sin, but in some problems, there will be cos also. So, the third use of this is e power i theta is equal to z. And z is cos theta plus i sin theta. Now, z to the power minus 1 is e to the power minus i theta because uh, of the loss of indices a power n the whole power minus 1 is a power minus n and that will be cos theta minus sin theta. Now, just by using our common sense, we can understand z plus z power minus 1 will be, come on, what happens when you add the two equations? I am adding this and this, so I will get 2 cos theta. Similarly, z minus z power minus 1 equal to 2i sin theta. 
it is not compulsory to do this drama in your exam depends on how much mark if it is a five mark question okay spend time for the drama if it is a two mark question don't waste your time you can even mug up like cos theta is equal to just imagine you are cross multiplying by the way z power minus 1 is 1 by z so this will be um, 1 by 2 can you see i'm taking this 2 to the other side i'm multiplying both sides by 1 by 2 z plus 1 by z and that gives me 1 by 2 z square plus 1 by 2 z my 2 and z looks similar be careful okay similarly sine theta will be i just just cross multiply 1 by 2 i z z square minus 1 so if they ask this for a 2 mark question for a 1 mark question depending on the grade you can think whether you have to do this drama or not Okay, now we are at the final stage. Now you will be very happy if you had learned Cauchy's residue theorem. So look at this. The given interval is 0 to 2 pi. 1 divided by 5 plus 4 sin theta d theta. Now I am going to substitute. I am going to replace. So I am going to convert this into a line integral as some people call. There is no harm in calling a circle as a line. Integral over c. Um, 1 divided by 5 plus 4 I have to substitute look at this I am transforming theta into z so my answer should contain only z ok and 4 into we just learned 1 by 2 i z z square minus 1 and d theta can be replaced with uh, what is the value what is the value ah here 1 by i z d z Simplify very carefully. Simplify very carefully. Take time, take time and simplify. So we get i is equal to integral over c. I did my simplification. Comment below whether it is correct or not. 1 by 2 z square plus 5 i z minus 2 d z. To be honest, after this, I should not teach you because we learned so many integrals of this type in residue integration. And it add one thing where c is mod z equal to 1. Can you see we have already done all these things. The differential d theta from here. The contour, the new limits. Because it is complex integration, the new limit is a contour. And the value of sin theta, cos theta. That is it. Now we have a pure complex contour integration. Now what is the next step? Come on, tell me. What will you do next? You have to write the singularities are so 2z square plus 5iz minus 2 equal to 0. Unless you have a graphing calculator, your calculator is not going to solve this. So I am really sorry to say you have to use the classic method that is our minus b plus or minus the discriminant method. So, let us solve it. So, a is equal to 2, b equal to 5i, uh, c equal to minus 2, comparing with the standard equation a z square plus b z plus c. So, that I can factorize this into z minus alpha, z minus beta and please mind this a. So, z equal to minus 5i plus minus root under 25i square 4 into 2 into minus 2. Don't watch this video. Practice along with me. Take a pen and a paper. Practice along with me. Don't watch this. It's not a movie. The whole divided by 2 into 2. So this will be minus 5i. I square is minus 1. This whole thing gets simplified to root under minus 9 divided by 4. And that will be minus 5i plus minus 3i divided by 4. So, taking the positive value, negative value, I get minus i by 2, z equal to minus 2i. This is the point where I told you many students get confused. Look at this. We have a contour and our contour is the unit circle. So, the contour is mod z equal to 1. So, you have to consider only the singularities which are inside or on the contour. So, this is the only one. Because modulus of minus i by 2 is equal to 1 by 2, which is less than 1. And modulus of minus 2i will be 2, it is greater than 1. Now I am going to find, because I hope you remember Cauchy's residue theorem, 2 pi i, sum of the residues 
which is inside or on the contour. So R1 is equal to limit. This is a simple pole. Now you know that Z tends to minus I by 2. Z plus I by 2. 1 divided by Z minus 2. Okay, now let's practice. Now let's factorize this. Limit z tends to minus i by 2. Z plus i by 2. Warning, warning, warning. Don't forget that 2. 2 multiplied by z minus the first root. Z minus the second root. Cancel, cancel. So this will be 1 by 2. And apply the limit. We will get... Um, minus i by 2 plus 2i and that reduces to 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 by 2i and the whole thing reduces to r1 is equal to 1 by 3i now let's go back to the integral solution is 2 pi i multiplied by sum of the residues and the residue is 1 by 3i so the final answer will be 2 pi by 3 Okay, so that's it. Now let's go for the next question. You can pause the video and try it if you want to challenge yourself. So integral 0 to 2 pi 1 divided by 2 plus cos theta d theta. Okay, come on. This is a real valued integral which you learned in your high school. But what we are going to do is we are going to convert this into a line integral. Be aware, some people will call contour integration as line integral. Don't get confused. So, all we do is, we are going to do the same drama we saw here. So, z equal to e power i theta, d z equal to e power i theta, i d theta. Same drama, same stuff, same stuff. But here we need cos theta. I am not going to repeat the drama here. But in your examination, you must write each and every step. Anyway, I am going to substitute. So, 0 to 2 pi will become integral over c. 1 divided by 2 plus. What is cos theta? 1 divided by 2 z. z square plus 1. And this will be dz by i z. Where c is mod z equal to 1. This is very, 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 very important because you will be searching for the limits. In contour integration, we don't have limit. We will have a region. Okay, now simplifying this, we get 2 by i outside. I am skipping steps. It's a warning. You try it yourself. Don't copy this. So, z square plus 4z plus 1, d z. Good news. Since the coefficients are all real, you can use the calculator and solve it. So, I got the singularities. z equal to minus 2 plus root 3. Minus 2 minus root 3. Now, I will not calculate the residues at every singular points. Only the singularities which are inside. Only the singularities which are inside. So, look at this. Modulus of minus 2 plus root 3. Use a calculator. Um, and that gives me less than 1. And modulus of minus 2 minus root 3. That gives me bigger than 1. So, this is inside and this is outside. I don't care about this. So, the residue will be limit z tends to minus 2 plus root 3, z minus minus 2 plus root 3 into 1 divided by, I am going to calculate only this part. So, be aware of that 2 by i later. So, z minus minus 2 plus root 3, that is going to get cancelled and z minus minus 2 minus root 3. So, cut, cut, cut. And the residue turns out to be 1 by 2 root 3. Now, let's go back. The question is over here. So, the answer will be 2 by i. 2 by i is waiting here. And according to Cauchy's residue theorem, it will be 2 pi i multiplied by 1 by 2 root 3. And the final answer will be 2 pi by root 3. Now, look at this. My job is done. My job is to make you understand this concept. Now, time to do your work. So, try this question right now. And I am going to put you in trouble. It's not from 0 to 2 pi, it's 0 to pi. 
I am warning you in examination they might do this. So 3 plus 2 cos theta. Please comment below the answer. It will help others and it will make me feel that you are also using these videos. And one more question. I is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi. D theta the whole divided by A plus sin theta where A is a number greater than 1. In case you are not able to solve, you can contact me or WhatsApp me in this number plus 977-982-882-0933. Okay, so till then, my friends, bye.